Hi guys, welcome to today's Vlogmas and welcome to our new kitchen. <laughs> So if you've been following my vlogs or my Instagram or my home Instagram, which if you don't follow, the link will be below. It's just at home with the Millards. Uh, you will know we've been in the process of getting our kitchen done. We are so thrilled with it beyond belief. Um, but yeah, today's video is going to be that process. So let's go back in time to a couple of weeks ago and let's talk you through the whole of the kitchen process. And then afterwards, I'll show you around. Well, good morning. Today's the day. The kitchen is being started. So one of the questions that I've been asked quite a lot is why, why are you getting a new kitchen? Your kitchen looks perfectly fine. It's lovely. And it is lovely, but it's not our taste. Um, it served us well. It is one of the things that really drew us to this house that it's so open and you've got like the snug there and everything is just so open plan and it's really social in here uh, and we want to keep that same aspect and that's why the layout is mostly the same we're just moving a couple of things around and getting new cabinets and stuff but really this this kitchen just isn't isn't our taste that's all and um yeah i we want cabinets that go right up to the ceiling different color we want it to be more modern a bit fresher looking this is more of like a country cottagey vibe i can't say that country cottagey vibe um and yeah and yeah it's been lovely but it's just it's just time for a change it is one of the drawings of what it should look like when it's finished so we've got um, like slate grey cabinets um, as you can see over here the oven is being moved to over there so we're having an eye level oven now but the basic layout is staying the same we've got a couple of extra cupboards and stuff where things are being moved around and um, what will be really nice is we're going to have a cupboard underneath where the cooker was for like pans and things and then we're going to have extra storage under here well I mean this is where the fridge was the fridge is now here <laughs> um but we're going to change the fridge and get a new fridge freezer which is going going here um but yeah pretty much the layout is the same the floor is staying the same we might change it at a later point but um yeah this is this is what it should look like the worktops are uh, like a light marble effect um and yeah it's just gonna look so much fresher and nicer and hopefully brighter because here i don't know if you can see it's all like encased. I've always said that this kitchen reminds me of a caravan kitchen because it's all like one big, big long unit at the top. Whereas like now we're getting it all taken away, it should open up the kitchen and make the window a lot brighter and bigger in here. And yeah, I'm just really, really excited. Let's get started. I'll take you through day by day in the stages. So probably the next bit you'll see is a shell of a room. Bye kitchen. It's been fun. So it is the end of day one. And um yeah. We have no kitchen. We have no kitchen. Kitchen no more. <laughs> so this is what our kitchen looks like right now. They got so much done today to be honest. So they've obviously they've gutted and ripped the entire kitchen out, but not any of them. Yeah, they've done wiring. We're having sockets moved. Um so we're having an extra socket put behind the fridge. Is it behind the fridge? Yeah, 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 it's behind the fridge. Um they've sorted out here because here we had the <laughs> Yeah, some very weird wire. So they've kind of rewired it there. Um the tiles have gone. And now we've had, um, what's this called? Plasterboard, plasterboard thank you. <laughs> um, my brain's gone today. So yeah, the plasterboard is up, ready for the splashback panels when everything's put in. So um, yeah, over here, doesn't it look weird? Mm. Like that's the frame that the cooker <laughs> stood. It just looks really weird. Just It just looks like a pallet stuck on the wall. <laughs> it's weird. 
but yeah they got loads done today um it just it just feels so weird like i'm in the middle of the kitchen like ah it's gone um and tomorrow i think he's gonna start putting the cabinets up by the sounds of it i think maybe towards the end of the day yeah he's got some other bits and bobs to do but yeah this is the this is the end of day one um do you want to see our kitchen i've showed it in a vlog before but if i just um turn you around so this is the uh makeshift kitchen <laughs> right now <laughs> we've got all the mod cons microwave kettle um uh, bread bin uh cereal down there for breakfast in the morning all the cleaning things all the boxes underneath the table have got like crockery in and all that kind of stuff um but yeah but as for food tonight i think we're gonna go and get a mackie d's because the christmas menu's out so why not so here is today's update on the kitchen it's actually starting to resemble a kitchen now we have cupboards and doors we don't have any worktops yet or a cooker <laughs> or a sink but um yeah it's all starting to come together we had a bit of an issue over here um with one of the cupboards being a little bit too wide and here like they def they found out that the oven door wouldn't open because of the frame but it's being rectified tomorrow so that's not a big deal it's fine um this is all blocked up now and looks good um yeah really really happy with how it's turning out well good morning so this is today's update we have worktops today and cutouts for the sink and we've got another one over there that's for the um hob that goes over there uh i think the oven is going to go in today the bre bre breakfast bar oh, can't talk breakfast bar is here ready to be placed um yeah we're getting there the wiring is all in place for the lighting because we've got um under cupboard lights uh i think the plumbing is being done tomorrow um but yeah it's kind of getting there now it i can actually see it taking shape now and it's like <gasps> yay he hasn't put any handles or knobs on any of the cupboards and the reason being he said <laughs> that he's done it before where he's done a kitchen job and put all the handles on and the knobs and people start filling up the cupboards and he's not finished uh, <laughs> i mean we wouldn't do that but he said he's had people that have done that before so he always leaves the hardware until last which kind of makes sense anyway to be honest i wouldn't expect him to put anything on the cupboards until he's finished but um yeah that story did make us laugh yesterday anyway that's today's update well good morning so i think we're on day five and we have something that resembles more and more like a kitchen every day so work tops we have the panels up they need to be all like silicone and everything today the sink's in it's not plumbed in yet uh the hob is in we've got the under cupboard lighting all working the oven is in uh today i think it's going to be breakfast bar is installed look at all of his tools <laughs> how many tools it takes to do a kitchen and i think one of the drawers i think chris said in the drawer <laughs> the drawers is all tools as well so yeah plan today i think it's breakfast bar we've got the gas man coming in to um do the hobs make sure that the gas hob works and the utility is being done today because that's still that's still got our old cupboards in and everything we're just we're going to leave the tiles we're going to paint the tiles in here so it's literally just a case of ripping out this carcass putting in the new carcass and the new worktop over the washing machine um putting all the handles on and everything but as i explained they do that last thing uh but yeah hopefully hopefully today we'll have a functioning hob oven and the sink will be plumbed in hopefully and the breakfast bar let's see so hello it's been a few days since i have vlogged but 
the transformation has happened now and now we just have to sort out so yeah it's pretty much done i will do you a proper look around a little bit later but for now we are cleaning the cupboards lining the cupboards with these liners that we got from is it from i think you can get these from like b&m home bargains it's just these ones here multi-purpose liners we've got some um storage tubs as well and uh yeah chris is sorting out the oven because he wants a roast dinner tonight <laughs> um but yeah here's here's the kitchen we're still living like this but it's gonna all change in a matter of a couple of hours so let's sort the cupboards out and then tomorrow we're gonna paint the walls and then the only thing left to do is uh the builders coming back on monday to seal around all the edges and then we need to get some blinds oh and a fridge freezer but for the most part it's done so happy with it <laughs> current day new kitchen um, so I hope you enjoyed that behind the scenes of what it is like to have a new kitchen being fitted it took a little bit longer than what we anticipated but there are a few little things that we modified along the way little changes here and there but we'll talk you through that in a second but let me turn the camera around and just show you the whole kitchen complete now I'm so happy with it okay so where do we where do we begin I guess the first thing to mention is that our whole kitchen came from Howden's um, everything like the units the worktop the sink the hob uh, the new oven everything is Howden's would recommend service is absolutely brilliant so would recommend Howden's as a company uh, our cupboards are I think it I think it's called Fairford the make of cupboard like the style of it I'll leave the link to it below if you're interested uh, we went for the color slate gray and then the worktops are like a marble effect it's not marble we couldn't you know the budget couldn't stretch to marble I'm afraid but it's like a marble effect and it does it does the job uh, it looks really nice like the contrast against the gray uh, we went for like a brushed metal handle um, and yeah what, what else do I need to tell you so we've got a new sink obviously new hob uh, and a new oven which is amazing actually what make of oven is it it's a Lamona that's the make and it's blooming brilliant <laughs> we've had two roast dinners already and it's great it's gonna be good at Christmas for sure so we contemplated getting an integral dishwasher or maybe just a, a door to cover the dishwasher but then we decided against it um 
I don't think the door would work because the, the dishwasher is like, that's how it comes out. So it wouldn't work having a door in front of it. It just look a bit out of place. And also if you get an integral dishwasher, I always worry that if it breaks, you have to replace the whole thing and it's quite expensive. Whereas if that breaks, we just buy a new dishwasher and put it in. So we left that as is. We've obviously got some new bits in the kitchen. So we've got a new kettle and a new toaster. They're from Russell Hobbs. Oh, it's not gonna, it's a bit dark. Hang on, let's go over to the toaster. Um, so yeah, they're these like rippled effect matching toaster and kettle from Russell Hobbs. Uh, I've got these little stars here, put my pegboard there. Do you get it? When you wish upon a, I feel like I'm gonna change that every day. Um, I've got my little coffee pot that Kyla bought me for Christmas. Uh, on the windowsill, we've got Christmas, oh, I've got washing on the line, don't look at the washing. Uh, we've got Christmas on the windowsill. And do you know what? The difference it makes not having the blinds up, like the um, vertical blinds, is so deep, like it's so much brighter in here, it's opened it up a treat. So I think we're gonna get just a roller blind and put it up there. So we're just leaving that at the moment as it is, but a roller blind will be going there. So all around on the worktops, we've got our old black marble boards. We actually got these from Wilco's. They were, I think they were like 10 pound each. And um, they're so good. They're good for saving your worktops and, you know, putting pans on and everything like that. I think we're gonna change these at some point, but for now we're making do. But I think we wanna get either white ones to match or maybe some grey ones, but that'll come in time. What else do I need to say? Oh, we've got a new a new clock as a, a focal piece. Uh, that was from the range, that was 30 pound. I've made a start on my little hot chocolate station over here. And then I guess the only other thing to mention is the fridge freezer. So we bought a new fridge freezer. We're still kind of getting used to the fact that it's there because obviously before we just had a dresser there and we keep going to the oven to get the milk out. It's really like disorientating. Now, obviously, you know, the layout is pretty much the same. We just made a couple of changes because we liked the layout. We just didn't like the cupboards and wanted to change it up. And so, yeah, the worktop is a lot shorter now. So there's lots more movement here and it's just, and it's just opened it up so much. So we didn't change the floor, but maybe that's something that will come in time. Um, but you know, the floor looks okay. Uh, we, we were gonna have cupboards that go flush up to the ceiling. That was the plan, but that's one of the things that we sort of changed. And the, <laughs> one of the reasons is, let me just, we'll open the cupboard. I mean, look, even our crockery <laughs> matches the kitchen now. But can we just like, I can, I can ba barely reach the top shelf. So if that was any higher, I would really, really struggle. And so, yeah, it's a little bit better that we've got a bit of a gap. <laughs> so we've got um, like cornice on there now, rather than it being like flush up to the ceiling. But <laughs> yeah, we didn't anticipate how high the cupboards would actually be. A little miss short here. <laughs> so um, yeah, they're quite, quite high up. In fact, mum and Chris have already been joking, saying that they need to get me a little stool so I can reach the top of the shelf. Like here, the, I can't, like just, just. I guess the last thing to show you is the utility room, which is kind of finished, but not. So this is what our utility room looks like now. Uh, again, new cupboard, new worktop. Tiles are still the same. We didn't get the tiles taken off. We're gonna actually paint these tiles or maybe like replace them or so. I don't know what we're gonna do. We've just left that as is at the moment. That's not really important. You don't, you know, you don't see this room. It's behind the door usually. And so yeah, that's, that's gonna be a work in progress to do those tiles. Um, but yeah, I mean, our hoover's on the wall now. And I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else left to show you. Oh, this is the view from from this side, if it'll focus. Oh, look at our Christmas tree, it looks so festive. Oh, also, did I tell you that we bought 
a coffee machine as well because we felt like you know new kitchen needed a new coffee machine we haven't had a coffee machine for years and we've used it actually quite a bit and here is the kitchen a few hours later i wanted to show you in contrast of like night and day so obviously it's getting a lot darker now and um it's still really bright in here obviously we've got the spotlights on the ceiling which we always had anyway but we've also got lights underneath the cupboards which are really bright if i just turn the big lights off you can see how much light they give off um so really happy that we got the under cupboard lighting uh, i'm trying to think as well have i missed anything out uh we've gone for non-tiles we've got splashback panels rather than tiling and the same with the cooker we've gone for a glass panel rather than tiles but we can change it if we want to um obviously we've got a smaller extractor fan now which is nice uh we've got more cupboards we've got a little tiny cupboard here now and there's a little tiny one there for mugs um the drawers are very spacious uh we've got drawers now here for our um, pans like our frying pans and pots and pans and then under the cooker we've got our baking trays and everything in there so everything's all nice and compact um and i think i think that's it anyway i think that is it now i think i've covered everything if i haven't or you've got any questions then please feel free to leave me a comment below and i will answer uh, as best i can but yeah we are so happy with it the process was really really easy a uh, huge thank you to sophie i know she'll be watching this video so thank you to sophie for all of your help with everything much appreciated um and we're thrilled we are absolutely thrilled that we have our new kitchen ready for christmas now and um yeah i hope you've enjoyed today's video i hope it's been informative uh i know some of you are interested in like the whole process so i hope i've given you <laughs> an insight into that if you are thinking about getting a new kitchen let me know if you guys would be interested in a kitchen organization video or like cupboard storage or cupboard organization that kind of thing and maybe i'll look to film that in the new year anyway i will see you guys in a couple of days time take care and i'll see you then